for this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. This video is a raw, just behind the scenes of our trip to Iceland. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I started my YouTube channel with just a point and shoot. I'd say for the first year and a half, I filmed everything on a point and shoot. Currently, we're pulled over on the side of the road. We're getting some shots of these mountains off in the distance. We have to flash back to this morning during the hurricane blizzard snowstorm to get an idea of where we're at now. You know, this whole trip we've been talking about the weather, how the weather can go from a blizzard to a sunny day. Tomorrow morning we were planning to go to Diamond Beach at 6.30 a.m. But every single person in town has been saying there's a storm coming. Honestly, the craziness of the weather has always worked in our favor because people have been saying, oh, it's gonna be terrible, it's gonna be windy, but then we get out there and we just send it. We and send it. Then, then the, the clouds just part for us. Full however, send. However, did you show the map? I showed the map. Yeah, so like, I mean, now it's just gonna be up to waking up tomorrow and seeing what happens. So either we are going to wake up and the next scene we will be at Diamond Beach and it'll be beautiful, or we're gonna be pulled over on the side of the road in a blizzard. We made it about a half mile up the road and got stuck in a snow drift. I found a shovel and we're digging out. We're gonna head back to the Airbnb. This is the worst snow show I've seen in my life. It is an Icelandic code orange, which means all the roads are shut down. We are on the road now. The storm cleared up and we are making our way to Diamond Beach as planned. The road, they say it's closed, but it looks pretty clear to me now. So we're just gonna drive very cautiously. The storm has passed though, which is good. And I mean, you saw earlier today that clip that I just showed, it was bad. Where are you guys from? We are from Holland. Holland. And what are your names? Evelina. Bartek. Agnieszka. <laughs> these guys helped us out so much. We were stuck for over an hour trying to get out and then these guys bundled up and helped push the car. So thank, thank you guys you. so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. One of the people working at the gas station that we took refuge in said they recorded the highest wind gust ever in Iceland and it was 214 kilometers per hour. If you are from the States, you can do the conversion, but it's just about 133 miles an hour, which I think is a category three hurricane, potentially four. It's, it's the strongest wind we've ever felt and it literally is an Icelandic record breaker that we experienced outside today and they looked at us like what were you guys thinking driving out here like we were like oh it's we've driven in the snow before but when the Icelandic people tell you not to drive you, you don't drive you don't drive I mean lesson learned like that I'll admit that was very reckless of us that was pretty dumb so we're gonna make our way up to Diamond Beach driving very slow and cautiously no I'm making a video of the top seven destinations in Iceland you have to see to believe and Diamond Beach is number one on that list. Diamond Beach is a scene out of a sci-fi film. Welcome to Diamond Beach on the southeastern coast of Iceland. There's a massive glacier off in the distance, way, way in the mountain range. And all the pieces of the glacier wash up here on the beach. It's like giant pieces of sea glass washed up on a black sand beach. In all my travels, I've never seen anything like this. Oh my gosh. That was, that was, that was intense. So we're driving home. Mike pulls up the weather map and there's just a storm cell kind of hovering a, along us the whole time. We're maybe I'd say 60 kilometers away and all of a sudden just blizzard. Like you can only see probably 20 meters in front of the car. And, uh, and we made it. We made it back. The treachery that we just endured. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, today has been probably the most intense day in recent memory. Yeah, and this is uh, this has been a, a, a test of our physical and mental wits just to like get through this without getting upset, getting aggravated. Like we we've, we've been pretty cool all day, but like it takes a lot of effort to not not lose your cool when the elements are against you, when time is against you, when you have a job to do, and. We did it though, because we're studs. I'm a, I'm a space cadet right now. I'm just, we're gonna get a Let's burger. go get some fish burgers, baby. Uh, we will see you in the morning at the next location, which is magical. Tomorrow's we'll gonna be such a better day. Oh my gosh, oh my God. Just, okay. just, just wait. It is now the next day, and as you can see, the weather in Iceland 
changes instantly. You got a sunrise in Mike Sheffer's head. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning. Well, How are you sleepy? Blue skies. I know. No How snow, about that? No, no treachery today. We're up here early in the morning and we are at Skoga Falls. We're still in the southeastern corner of Iceland and Skoga Falls is so unique because of the sheer height of the cliff that this water's pouring over and we have all of our rain gear on because we're gonna get wet. This is as close as you can get to the waterfall without getting totally soaked. Look right back here. This thing is massive. Being this close, you can see the raw power of this waterfall. Make it a point in life to come and see things that make you feel small. It's very important to do. I honestly feel like I'm back on Mount Kilimanjaro. But we're trekking to a glacier that was right by the waterfall we were just at. Take me to your leader. So we trekked up this glacier, which you will see in the top seven Iceland video. And you know, this is a behind the scene vlog. So I didn't want to give too much away of the glacier climb. The top seven video will be out right after this vlog. And it is perfect for anyone who wants to visit Iceland in the winter. After the glacier, we thought it was the right moment to take some time and finally unwind after all the blizzards and treachery of the trip thus far. If you saw the first video traveling to Iceland, you know where we're at. Last time we were here, it was freezing, it was snowing. Woo. The other hot spring was full of tourists and look behind me, there is not a single person here. We're very ill prepared for this. So right behind me, this little door, that is the entrance to the hot spring. And if you look over that way, that is the actual hot spring. But we did bring bathing suits or towels and there are a few other people here, so we can't really go in naked. We are definitely gonna come back here at some point on our Iceland adventure. You see behind us, the sun is out. It is a beautiful afternoon in the land of the ice. All right, here we go into the hot springs. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's hot. Yeah? It's hot. <laughs> All right, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. You know, if you've been watching this video series with the blizzard yesterday and just the hectic, hectic weather, to have a few minutes I mean, more than a few minutes. We're gonna be here for probably a few hours <laughs> to, to chill in a natural thermal spring, a secret natural thermal spring in Iceland. It's unreal. I do have to say, it's fun to come here with you. <laughs> I know what you're gonna but say. But this is the spot. This is, I mean, the you- The day after Valentine's Day too. You literally the day after Valentine's Day. This is the spot where you come here with a significant other and you watch that sunset and you make some sweet love. This ain't no jacuzzi installed with uh, chlorine and artificial heat. <laughs> I mean, hot lava is underneath us heating this. It's crazy. It's, this is, it's one of the, it is one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. One of the most unique travel experiences. And the fact that there's also no tourists here compared to everywhere else that we've been, like, it's good to make friends with the locals because they'll show you stuff like this. Yeah, and they, they know where it's at. That's why it's always good to be nice and, you know, reach out to people and make friends wherever you go. I heard a quote once. Be nice to everyone, because you never know. This is it, sadly we are leaving Iceland, back to New York. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe for more travel videos, and we will see you in the next video. Let's go, we gotta go. We From gotta somewhere warmer, yeah. We gotta get to the plane, let's go. About to miss our flight. We'll see you guys in the next one, peace.